about diary entry, its definition and the format to write a diary entry. So let's get started. Now let's get started with the format. Now at first you have to maintain a straight line. So before that at the top you will write the place the way I have written Kolkata. After that you have to write date. Just see how I have written the date. In this way you have to also write that 6th March, 2021. Then you have to write the day. Then time. After that, you have to give one line gap. And then you have to write dear diary. And after that, you have to give one comma. Remember children, usually you make mistakes in place. That is the portion where you are writing the date here in this case you generally write 6.03.21 no wrong format or 6 slash 03 slash 21 no not acceptable you have to write in these way only Okay, now coming to the, so this is the format which you have to maintain. Another thing, you have to give one line gap here. Okay, I have just written and you have to give one line gap. And then you have to write dear diary. And after that, always remember to give one comma. Another thing, dear will be in capital letter as well as diary will also be in capital letter. Now, coming to the expression part. At first, you have to write the introduction, okay? Just below Dear Diary, you will, without giving one line gap, you will start your writing. With any of the lines, you can write the way I have given one example. This is the first time I am writing after my dot dot dot. In this way, whatever topic will be given to you, according to that, you may start. Now, while expressing the content, you need to remember a few points that it should be written in the first person. And the style should be informal and the composition should be, means the overall expression should be short. Of course, just remember, don't forget to start with the salutation, dear diary. And of course, the in previous portion also I have explained that how you have to mention place, time, day and date. Without that, you cannot start a diary entry. Now at first, portion will be introduction. Now, after writing the introduction, you have to give one line gap. Next, another paragraph you need to do. At least three paragraphs is necessary. So, another paragraph you have to do. In that paragraph, the second paragraph generally expresses the major portion of the topic. You may call as expression or body anything where you are going to express the actual form of the topic okay now coming to the last paragraph that is conclusion there you will write there you will be writing the concluding lines of your diary entry and at last you will finish or you may conclude by signing with your first name no need to write any title or anything just try to finish your diary entry 
by signing it with your first name. So this is all about the format of the diary entry. Now in case of the expression part, according to the topic and format you have to do. Just remember few tricks and few points that make short sentences without grammatical error. No need to do broad sentences, long sentences, no need to punctuate a sentence with any conjunctions etc. Try to make short and precise sentences. It will help you to go forward to make your diary entry moving with correct grammatical points. So this is all about the tips. No need to use any bombasting words also. Fresh and simple words are always acceptable. Okay. So this is all about. Of course, just remember you have to write what you are feeling. What you are feeling. What uh, everything. You just you have to just think you don't have to be um, formal because you are not writing a letter you are writing a diary and diary entry is just you have to think that this diary is my best friend and with whom i can share every words of my heart so in this way you can write anything of course according to the topic don't go out of the topic um, with the perfect track you have you can write whatever you are feeling but of course on topic so this is all about thing generally you get diary entry for five marks so children try to practice if you have any doubts regarding diary entry of course you may feel free to ask me more details on it I will surely provide you that